So I'm here at my mom's house in Oakville. And uh, this is what happens when somebody drives their car through your house. <laughs> that person is gonna remain nameless. All I can say, it's not my brother. It's not my dad. My mom doesn't drive. My sister doesn't drive and I don't live here. But my car is right inside. My Jeep is right inside behind that garage door and it almost got hit. It was probably four inches away from getting rammed. So yeah, this is what happens when somebody drives their car into your house. <laughs> That's my brother right there. <laughs> We're getting it fixed right now. We're gonna get it replaced. So yeah, again, do not drive your car into your house because this is what's going to happen and this is what it's going to look like and it's going to cost a lot of money. Mga ating mga kuya, welcome back to Puto Mendoza in Canada. So, uh, palagay ko na, alam yun na kung ano tong video na to. You know, according to my introduction there. So, nagkaroon kami ng malaking aksidente dito sa bahay ng mom ko. Uh, as you can tell, yan, ginagawa na nila. Pero nangyari to, mga two days ago, yung brother ko, he came home from work, gabi na. Tapos napansin niya, ba't ganun yung uh, garahe, nakatiwangwang. And then upon further uh, inspection, after he parked his car, nakita niya, ayun. Somebody who is gonna remain nameless, drove his car through our house. So ganyan ang naging itsura niya. So needless to say, yung brother ko, the first thing na napunta sa isip niya is everybody okay. So tumakbo siya sa loob ng bahay, tinignan niya kung ayos yung, kung, ay, kung okay lang yung mom namin. And she was fine. Sabi nung mom ko, according to my brother, uh, meron daw siyang narinig na napakalakas na, na parang uh, sabog. Or you know, like an impact, like a very loud impact. Tapos uh, natakot daw siya. Eh, unfortunately, pag nasa trabaho kami, we can't really uh, pick up our phones. So, tinatawagan daw niya yung brother ko to see what happened. But uh, she, couldn't go, she couldn't get through. So, sabi nung brother ko, the moment uh, he was able to pick up his phone, <clears throat> yun, bigla siyang umuwi. And ito yung itsura nung uh, bahay namin nung umuwi siya. So, yeah, it's not good. So, pag winter, yung jeep ko dito ko uh, ini-store sa garahe ng uh, mama ko. Dahil I don't have any room at my house or the condo. So, dyan siya nakatago. So, nung uh, dumaretso yung kotse ng tao dun sa bahay namin, na UP yung garahe. And the first thing I thought was, na paano yung kotse ko na nakaparada dun? Nabangga ba sa likod? Was it smashed from the back? Because yung uh, garahe, it was pushed all the way through. So, ito, makikita nyo. Tignan nyo yung looban na yan, no? Napakalapit. So, <laughs> yung brother ko, pumunta agad sa garahe, tinignan niya kung uh, na-damage yung likuran ng jeep ko. Thank God, there was no damage. It missed it by about 4 inches. So, the moment uh, he got his wits, uh, picked up his phone and tinawagan niya ako sinabi niya sa akin kung ano nangyari and he told me Kuya Mark you know I, I really really need your help so that's why we're doing this right now so nagulat ako nung uh, narinig ko yung story kung ano nangyari yung uh, kapatid ko lungkot na lungkot because sino ba matutuwa if you get a car drive through your house <laughs> So, naintindihan ko, sabi ko sa kanya, relax ka lang, you know, ayokong magkasakit ka or ma-stress ka or mami atakihin ka po sa puso. You know, yung garahe, however bad, pwede nating ayusin yan. Pag ikaw ang napuruhan, I can't fix you. So, buto na lang nakinig sa akin yung brother ko. So, natulog siya. And then the following day, I made sure pumunta ko din sa bahay ng mom ko to assess the problem. And I started to come up with solutions because that's what I do best. So the first thing I did, tinawagan ko yung gumawa ng garage door namin dun sa bahay ko sa Brantford. 
Kaya lang, sabi niya masyadong malayo. So, kaka-busy daw siya. So, he can't do it. So, the next thing I did, pumunta ako sa Google and I typed garage door repair replacement near me. So, the very first uh, company that came up was Master Tech Garage Doors. So, binasa ko yung uh, review nila and it was all positive. It was all five stars. So, I made an appointment with a guy. His name's Sam. He's a uh, Palestinian. Uh, he speaks Arabic. Super nice guy. So, pumunta agad dun sa bahay namin nung morning na yun. And he gave me a quote and uh, he gave me a price. Pero hindi ko agad siya sinabi gawin agad. Uh, I made sure na tumawag, tumawag ako sa iba pang mga companies just so I can uh, I can shop around for the best price, right? Pero problema pala ngayon because of COVID, walang supply. So halos lahat ng other companies na tinawagan ko sabi nila there's gonna be at least a month wait. For the garage door to come and then sabi nila yung schedule nila napaka busy so tatagal pa yung wait so Sam was the only person Master Tech Garage Doors was the only person that said you know what Mark uh, this is the price I have the garage door in stock sabihin mo lang sa akin kung kailan mong gawin and then we'll do it so the decision was very easy we went with Sam and Master Tech so, tinawagan ko siya, we made arrangements, and he said, Kailan mo gustong gawin? Sabi ko, as soon as possible, dahil yung buong kapitbahay namin, buong neighborhood namin, nakikita yung loob ng bahay namin because yung karahe, nakatiwangwang. So, I have no choice, you know? It's it's a safety issue, it's a security issue, and mamaya, baka magalit pa yung kapitbahay ng mam ko because <laughs> ang, ang, ang sagwan tignan, you know? So yeah, we went with Sam and uh, he said, I can do it as quick as tomorrow. So we made arrangements to get it done and here we are right now. So Sam from Master Tech, oh my God, ang galing niya. I mean, all he asked me and my brother was to make sure na yung kalag dyan sa gilid na yan. Kita mo yan? Nanggalin namin dahil he's gonna need space plus I need to move my jeep the moment na matanggal nila yung silang garahe so si Sam may kasama siyang helper hindi ko nakuha yung pangalan niya pasensya na but uh, ang bilis nilang gumawa sabi ni Sam yung he's been doing this for about 15 years this is all they do garage door, replacement, repairs you know what have you anything related to garage door yun ang business nila and you know what it shows yung professionalism nila ang bilis and they know exactly what they're doing tsaka polido yung trabaho nila so I'll tell you a little secret uh, I made a deal with Sam sabi ko sa kanya kung pwede cash na lang ibabayad ko sa kanya so we can save on the taxes so sabi ni Sam normally he would not do it pero like you know he saw the desperation in our eyes dahil katiwangwang nga talaga yung garahe namin and we needed to get it done right there and right there. ASAP. Wala kaming choice. So he goes, okay, yeah. You know, we could do a cash deal. So, yun. But on top of that, he actually did a little bit more work. Uh, yung uh, garage door opener namin, may sira. So, Sam said he'll fix it for free. So, bonus yun. He went to wine brother ko nung narinig niyo yun. So, yeah. Ganyan yung itsura ngayon ng garahe namin, natanggal na yung luma. Ngayon, ikakabit nila yung bago. Pero bago nila gawin yun, lahat ng panels nung, uh, nung luma na nayupi, they actually get rid of it. You know, they put it on their truck and they dispose of it. So, ang galing. So, ngayon ginagawa nila yung railing dun sa gilid ng dalawang dingding on either side, pinapalit na nila. Or napalit na, na pala, sorry. And they're in the process of actually putting the panels up one at a time. And tignan nyo. Because of COVID, yung availability ng mga garage door ngayon, napakahirap daw makakuha. So, our choices were actually very limited. Uh, simple black or simple white. So, pinili namin black. You know, dahil I think it's, it's gonna work better color-wise, you know, with the color of the brick. You know, napakahirap pala talaga. Uh, the, supply, the supply chain uh, for everything has been interrupted by COVID, including garage doors. 
So, napakaswerte talaga namin na we found somebody that had somebody that, that had nice. stock. Oh, it's very nice. I like it better no, than white. everybody else <laughs> na tinawagan ko, sabi nila, napakatagal daw ng wait and they have no time with their schedule to actually install it. You see it? Oh, I like nila. this. This is good. So, yeah. This is very good. kami dito. Ayan, kita nyo. Dalawang panel na nakakabit. You could see how it's beginning to look. So, ngayon, ginagawa nila, they're putting, <clears throat> there's four panels total. So, Apat na panel, one on top of the other, and then they connect it from the inside of the garage, right? With bolts and nuts and washers. And they also have to replace all the mechanisms on the top, on the bottom, on the sides, everything pretty much. So, ngayon ko lang natutunan to. Ano pala, pag nagpapalit kayo ng garage door, you know, it's the door plus all the, all the mechanisms attached to it. Except for the garage door opener. Yun ang uh, kasama ng package. Ito na guys, malapit nang matapos yung trabaho. Kailangan na lang nilang ikabit is uh, the top panel. Which is what they're doing right now. <clears throat> and then, uh, all they have to do after that is connect it to the garage door opener. And then, test fit. Make sure it goes up and down. Then, tapos na. I have to admit... Napakaganda ng itsura niya ngayon. It's so much better. You know, yes, itim siya, but I think that uh, the black, you know, brings out a lot of good character. <laughs> you know, it, it, it creates a good contrast between the color of the brick and the garage door. Yan, ganyan itsura niya ngayon. So, I believe pinakahuling uh, gagawin nila ngayon is uh, just put the trim piece around the front but lika punta tayo ulit sa likod tignan natin kung ano ginagawa nila ayan they're just uh, bolting on last few pieces to make it nice and solid make it work make it 100% hey Scott, the so mga ate here? mga kuya I guess where's iniisip nyo magkano inabot ang gastos to replace this accident of a garage door na nangyari sa bahay ng mom ko so the answer to the million dollar question is $2,800. So, tinanggal nila yung na-accidente na pinto. They disposed of the old garage door. They replaced it with a brand new garage door. They replaced all the springs. They replaced all the tracks. They installed it. They test fitted it. They replaced all of the trimmings outside. All the weather stripping. And they connected it back to the garage door opener plus on top of that ginawa ni Sam yung sira na garage door uh, control panel na nakabit ng sa wall which controls it from the inside of the house to make it go up and down so overall lahat yon was $2,800 and it was done in 2 days so guys ito ang pinakamurang quote na nakuha namin I had uh, 5 other companies that I called and the prices were ranging between 2800 which is what Sam charged us all the way up to $4000 so si Sam ang pinili namin because he had the garage door in stock yung mga ibang companies they told us oh you're going to have to wait a week a month you know sometimes longer because of the the covid uh, shortage with the supply chain so overall, we were extremely happy sa resulta because in a span of two days from the day of the accident, naayos namin yung garahe namin so hindi na kami kahiyahiya sa neighborhood. So at least now, hindi mo na nakikita yung looban ng bahay namin dahil merong kotse na nag-drive through sa bahay namin. So at least yan, tapos na. You know, masaya na yung kapatid ko, masaya na yung mami ko, masaya na yung dad ko, and tapos na yung problema. So guys, this is the final product, way better than before. So thank you for joining us in this video, guys. This is Puto Mendoza in Canada, wishing you good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Stay hungry, stay humble, and whatever you do, please do not crash into your house with your car. Keep your hustle strong. Bye now.